Hi guys, so today's video is going to be about martial arts techniques and tips to beat the crap out of bullies. Nah, I'm joking. Here's the real clip. Hi guys, today I am just doing this video because I want to talk about bullying and I feel as a teacher that I see way too much bullying going on and it really does affect children and you know, especially young adults in those developmental years where there's really like, you know, physical development um, and then they can be quite impressionable. Younger kids sort of, I'm, like, I've noticed tend to let it go quite, quite often. I'm talking like between the five-year-old, you know, to seven-year-old age group. I'm just saying that they don't get affected. But anyway, I've decided that it's important for me to share uh, my experience with bullying and also the strategy I've used to um, help myself deal with it and uh, cope, I think, the, the best way possible. Um, this came about because I was teaching a class and then I said, you know, we're reading a book called Willie the Wimp and they all said that, you know, well, a few of them said that their dads told them to punch someone if they were getting bullied. And yeah, so that's obviously not the way to go. Um, now this depends on the age group, but if you're a young adult or a child, I would suggest that the parent obviously talks to the child about um, feeling sorry for the bully. Um, you know, not not necessarily saying, oh, you know, they must be jealous of you, things like that, because I don't think that that is a very sensible way to go. Um, but just pointing out, you know, that you have to feel sorry for them because the only way to make themselves feel better is the fact that they're picking on someone like yourself, you know, um, and that they're obviously just not, you know, capable enough and aware enough and I wouldn't say intelligent, but, you know, not aware enough to realise that their actions affect you. So, you know, basically feel sorry for the person who's bullying you. Um, obviously, there could be a whole bunch of reasons why they are, and jealousy definitely could be one of them. But you don't want to just pinpoint, oh, they're jealous of you, they're jealous of you, they're jealous of you, because that's not a, a really sensible way to cope. Especially sometimes you might not be able to pinpoint jealousy. It could be some other factor. You know what I mean? Like, it could be their, their attempt to become more, um, you know, to get gain something socially like you know social acceptance into a group is in to bully you now that doesn't mean they're jealous of you but anyway so just feeling sorry for the bully is one of the strategies I'd also suggest that as um, your child gets older and depending on uh, how how where they are also and how, how they're able to um, interpret and understand other people's feelings that you could bring this idea forward and if you're a teenager and you're experiencing bullying then I would suggest that you try to become aware of this facet of it the thing with bullying the person who is bullying the way to make sure that you can cope the best is to realize and recognize that no one really wakes up in the morning and says yep I want to hurt everyone else's feelings just because my life is so perfect there's nothing that will make me feel good uh, feel better than just you know going and, and picking on someone and I know it's a bit of a generalization comment you know but anyway the point that I'm trying to make is that especially as a teacher people that are unhappy with themselves tend to bully other people. Now, this can come in the form of emotional abuse or physical abuse, and it can actually be in relationships um, as well. So, the whole idea that um, bullies just, they're just mean people who just are jealous and they just lash out. Yeah, they could be jealous and, you know, all that sort of stuff, but there is a reason why they're doing what they're doing. It doesn't mean the reason's right, but often I've found, especially when probing into like bullying occurrences at schools and stuff like that, 
is that the child is, you know, they're suffering from either physical or emotional abuse at home, um, you know, or their families, you know, the parents are separating, things like that. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, just because your parents separate, you should go and lash out at people, but everyone copes with things differently. And so what I'm trying to say is that if you are getting bullied or if you've been bullied, the best thing to do is just feel sorry for that person because I found that every single time someone is being bullied, there is something going on in their lives that they're unhappy about, which is why they have to do that. Um, yeah, young kids, obviously, they probably don't even think stuff like that. It's just they want a toy and you're not giving the toy, therefore they'll hit you or something. But with the older groups, and I'll share one of my experience. So when I was, like I I've never been really bullied my whole life. Um, I, I started to get bullied, and the only time I was bullied was um, in university, which was really surprising. Um, I was friends with a group of girls, and uh, long story short, but all of a sudden they just um, decided to exclude me from the group. Um, this sounds so suspicious. If I heard someone else saying this, I'd be like, what did you do? But you no, know, this is really what it was. They just decided to exclude me from a group assignment that we were doing. It was quite difficult to cope with because at the time I was um, going through some personal things, like my, my grandma had passed away and all that sort of stuff. So it was very difficult. But you know when, you know, when something bad happens, all of a sudden everything bad happens. And... Um, but the way I dealt with it was, you know what, I just, I, I said to them I, that, you know, I expected better from them because I didn't understand what they were doing and I thought that they were my friends. But at the end of the day, you just have to wipe your hands clean, feel sorry for them and, and just walk away. And eventually the girls did apologize to me and, you know, some of them, well, pretty much all of them except for the main girls that were picking on me because they pretty much knew I wouldn't really talk to them ever again. But they came up to me and they apologised and stuff, which was good because not many people do stuff like that and feel remorse and all that sort of stuff. So I was appreciative of that. But at the same time, you have to learn who you can let in and who you can't. So I chose that that was quite enough of that. But like I said, you know, people have their own problems and I'm sure that that group of girls, the girls in particular that were bullying me, I'm sure that there was something lacking in their lives and the other girls that went along with them, I'm sure it was just more of a social pressure thing where, not even pressure but you know, do I really want to go do I really want to disrupt the balance of the group or whatever it was anyway, no big deal um, but yeah, just to show that obviously I know what it's like to be bullied um and yeah, you can cope, just recognise that the people that are doing it, it's because they're unhappy with their own lives. So try not to get too upset and just, you know, be happy and, and you know, be happy for what you have and, and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope this helps. Um, sorry if it dragged on a bit too long. But yeah, if you want, you can obviously subscribe, that would be great. And you could like or comment, and really with the comments, I would really like to get some feedback. Obviously not nasty things, but just 